Hey guys, what's going on? This is Pants R Dragon, and today we'll be doing the top 5 best mid laners for patch 5.23. Alright, so a bunch of AP items have been nerfed since the preseason, and I feel like the strong champions are the ones abusing masteries or the champions using the items that weren't nerfed. And so with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first up we have Ari. So Ari is very versatile in her build and basically she can build anything she wants. She's like an assassin, poker, mage, basically everything you want in an AP carry. And she scales with everything, cooldown reduction, AP, and M-Pen. So again, very versatile in her build. And I mean, she was one of the best champions in Season 5, so that would mean her transition to Season 6 would be okay too. Next up is going to be Anivia, which is a Rod of Ages user. And if you guys didn't know, Rod of Ages is one of the items which kind of got a nerf, but at the same time, it's a buff once you obtain it, as now it gives 20 more AP for 300 gold more, which equals about to 3000. The only reason it is a nerf is because you want to get your Rod of Ages as soon as possible, so your power spike is delayed just a bit. But in comparison to other items, it's definitely like one of the better items. So just talking about Nivea herself, She's one of the champions who appeared in Worlds and, well, was always a good mage, it's just no one really played her. Because, I don't know, she requires a lot of patience and, honestly, she's not that fun until mid-game and late-game. But, there probably were better champions and a lot of those champions have been nerfed since then. And she's like the only mage who hasn't been touched since, like, Season 2 or something. What she provides is great base damage, insane wave clear with her R, and great zoning with their R and W. All these are still great even if she's behind as her base damage is strong and of course her utility will always be there. And also she has probably one of the best passives in the game. The only problem she really has is being mana intensive, skill shot reliant with her Q, and she's a short to mid range mage. So she kind of has to get up close and personal. Next up is gonna be Lulu. Lulu is quite strong especially if we can make those beefy tanks even more beefier with the ultimate and E. Lulu just provides so much utility, and her damage with her Q and E is still good, along with just giving your team the ability to kite very well, and having the CC to peel, and of course chase. And you know, if you think about it, she kinda has 6 abilities with her E and W, as E can be used defensively and offensively while W can be used for movement speed or polymorphing the enemy. She also goes Rod of Ages, which is a very efficient item at the moment. Next up is gonna be Brand. So Brand is abusing the Deathfire Touch mastery as any of his skills will apply it for 6 seconds, and so you use one ability and Deathfire Touch will do 12 damage plus 40% of your AP. And so it is really good for poking down the enemy in the mid lane. He also is a very control mage with the Rallyless Crystal Scepter, giving basically all of his spells 40% slow, and so he can be really good for peeling for his team and just catching out the enemy. Also that 2 second stun is, well, pretty obnoxious if you get hit by it as you can't really do anything. Although it is not a very fast skill shot, but with the help of Rylai's Crystal Scepter, you can for sure land it every time. And at number 1 is going to be Twisted Fate with a new type of build. So people are getting Rod of Ages on him now, and then going Lich Bane and basically an AP Mage after that. And the thing is, Lich Bane is an item that actually didn't get nerfed in the preseason patch. So champions which use Lich Bane are still pretty good. And also the Mastery Storm Raider Surge. Definitely helps him for chasing down enemies and kiting away from the enemies. He also benefits greatly from 45% CDR as he can pick a card faster and also use his ultimate more often. And also, he was probably the best mid laner like in my last tier list of Season 5. So since there's no indirect nerfs to him, I feel like he's still going to be number 1. And finally, we're going to be doing some honorable mentions and first up is going to be Swain. So like Brand, he abuses the Deathfire Touch Mastery. As his E and Q are damage over time abilities, Plus his E increases Deathfire Touch's damage, and he also uses Rod of Ages, and he's extremely good in a mid game and late game. The only problem is his laning phase sucks since he's kind of a short range mage, and he's also very easy to gank. And he doesn't get his power spike until he obtains that Rod of Ages, and until then he's just gonna have a hard time. And next up we have Vel'Koz. Vel'Koz is a champion which can output a lot of base damage, so he just kind of scales his levels and magic penetration. He's actually a pretty decent champion, the only problem I have with him is he's actually very skill shot reliant and any champion with mobility can dodge his laser, his E, his Q, and his W. 
so if someone has a flash up, they can dodge a crucial skill coming from Vel'Koz. Anyways, that is it for this tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And honestly, I hope they actually buff the AP items because right now, as an AP mage, it probably doesn't feel so well trying to get that Rabadon's Death Cap or any of your items because it's just so far away and it actually takes a while to get your core items. And it kind of sucks being an AP mage. So hopefully this tier list looks a bit different if they do change the items. And yeah, make sure to leave a like if you did like this video. And if you disliked it, well, then give a dislike. It's all about you guys, and I just want to hear what kind of feedback you guys want to give me. Whether that is in the comments or through the likes and dislikes. And yeah, I'm always trying to improve on these videos, so thanks guys. I'm Pazard Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I can flash. Oh, I thought someone was in there. Yeah, where did he go? He went up then, I guess? Yeah, he walked up. Come on! <laughs> I can find her!